So hey folks and welcome back to the channel and yep yeah, it's that day it's the big reveal of the bike we're going to be taking on our big adventure. Now a few of you have guessed it right, a few of you have guessed wrong. So without further ado let's uh, show you the bike. So here she is the 2022 brand new from ground up Triumph Tiger Rally Explorer. Now this bike's been kindly lent to me for the trip from Triumph UK, so thank you very much Triumph. And as you can see it's come fully loaded with the, uh, the new luggage for this year as well. Now next Wednesday you'll get a full detailed spec review of this motorcycle. But for now there she is, that's the bike we're doing the trip on. And to get it ready for the trip I've added a few accessories. Now I asked Triumph if they would put on the full luggage pannier set. And this is the Triumph branded set uh, made by Gibby. You've got two 36 litre boxes and then you've got a 46 litre top box. Now the bike's 1160cc has the T-plane crank engine and as you can see it comes on the spoked tubeless tyres. These are the Metzler Carew Street tyres. It's got full crash protection, hand guards. Now the fuel tank on the bike is 30 litres and that's on the Explorer range only. So that will really help on the trip. Uh, it does about 600 kilometres or 375 miles per tank. You have blind spot mirrors, so you've got a radar on the back of the bike that flash up yellow when a car passes. The seats are heated and also on the back if you've got a pillion on there's a heated seat switch just there and also there's a DIN socket. Um, the other things that I've added uh, is the Beeline navigation system. Now it does have a Triumph Connect system that you can connect to your phone and give you turn by turn directions on the screen. I'm not familiar with that so I'm not going to use it for this trip. The bike comes with keyless ignition so just have the key in your pocket and also it's got a keyless fuel cap. It's got backlit illuminated switch gear, you've got cruise control, driving lights, uh, heated seat switch, uh, mode buttons, uh, all of the joysticks and all of the usual stuff on it, but more to come in the spec review video. Now it does have a DIN adapter socket just at the front, not a cigarette lighter socket. So what I've done is put an adapter to a twin USB uh, waterproof port just there and that allows me to power my phone. And the sponsors for the trip are Merlin Bike Gear. Now you've seen me wearing all of the uh, Merlin clothing, the Shenstone jacket, my Edale and my Finlay gloves and also SP Connect phone mounts. Now with the phone mount I've got the SP Connect phone mount just here and also I've got the charge pad on the back and that allows me to wireless charge my phone when it's actually connected on. I also added the anti-vibration module on the back of this to stop any vibrations. So thank you to SP Connect for coming on board and helping with the trip and if you're after a phone mount or holder then head in the description below and also there's a discount code to get some money off any purchases. Now the other sponsor that came on board is Speedo Angels and Speedo Angels make dashboard screen protectors so they sent me over their anti-glare one and at the end of the video you'll see me fitting this if you stick around stay tuned for that. Um, but this is the anti-glare one that I've put on this screen. Just stops the sun glaring back at me when I'm in sunnier climates. Now you'll also notice the screen is literally one finger pull to get it into the high position and then you've got various positions going down. Uh, but that's super nice. And with the screen up it really does give it a lot of protection. That's with the screen up. And that's with the screen down. Now the trip will be around 13 days, uh, we'll put a video up every week on a Friday at 4pm. There will be five videos and we'll be covering 3000 miles and we'll be heading through Germany, down into Switzerland, down over the passes into Italy, back round to Monaco and then through France and back up to the UK. So if you want to hear how we get on on the trip then uh, tune in to those videos. Like I say, 3,000 miles on the new Tiger Rally Explorer and we'll see how this bike fares. It'll be a good trip and give us uh, plenty of information back to come back and give you a final thoughts video on this bike after doing that many miles. Okay, let's hit the road. It's going to be epic. Thanks again. 
and if you're not a subscriber to the channel hit that subscribe button ding that bell for future videos coming up and if you want to follow the trip in more detail follow our instagram just here and we'll be posting daily on there with uh, with photos and a few videos so yeah super excited and uh, can't wait to get on this bike and uh, put the miles in catch you on another video guys very shortly so I'm fitting the anti-glare screen protector, the dashboard protector from Speedo Angels. It comes with a little packet. Inside you've got an alcohol wipe and a little cloth. So first I'm going to wipe over the screen, get all the grease and fingerprints off the screen, make it nice and clean. And then take the microfiber cloth and just dry the screen off and make sure it's free of any dust. Then I'll just peel the backing off, apply it to the screen, get it centered on where I want to place it and as I place it on you'll see that the air behind it just pushes out towards the edges and then what I'll do is I'll get my microfiber cloth and just run over the outside push all the air bubbles if any to the outside and then I'll remove the front protective cover and again take my microfiber cloth and just give it a wipe over make sure that all the air bubbles are to the outside now if you've cleaned the screen properly you'll find that you don't really get any air bubbles. And with me traveling over to hot countries where there's gonna be sun, I wanted to put the anti-glare one on, but Speedo Angels do do clear versions and also they do a nano glass version as well. Check them out, link in description below. They do screen protectors and other items for most bikes.